Can we get a drum roll? Everyone, drum roll. Ready? Go. Drum roll. Are you ready? Oh, hey! Hey! The Chapman DPT. Chapman Guitars revealed the new DPT Danish Pete signature guitar at the Birmingham Guitar Show this weekend. But there's more to this story. My friend said, if you only spend £40 on fuel getting to Birmingham and back, I will eat my penis. So that morning I filled up my tank to the brim. £40, 75p of fuel. I should have looked at where the fuel gauge was. F***ing idiot. So I think it was just under half. I don't know. Time to go to Birmingham. See you there. Three words. Oh, did we get the wrong colour? The three words is, it's not purple. It's not purple. The whole thing comes, it's been, this has been going on for a while, man. You know, we've been talking about this for a long, long time. Chapman wanted to do like a, a line of vintage spec guitars. I added a little carp here. I love the SG and the way that's got a carp on it. It's a maple neck, it's a rosewood board. It's a uh, swamp ass body with the nitro finish on it. It's got Monty's uh, DP51 pickups in it. 95% of this was designed by Chapman, but yeah. the pick guard yeah, was my daughter that designed this one. So I gave my daughter's paper with some Telecaster shapes on it, and I said, please help me design these pick guards. And uh, my middle uh, girl, Gertie Boo, came back with, with something that was, it was like this, and then we um, it ended up like this. So I'm really, really close. She was, she's really, really pleased, I tell you. The neck carve is is the neck calf of my, my, my purple Telecaster. So everything is the same as the purple Telecaster. So this is the workshop model, which will be made in the UK, uh, but there will be a um, Eastern model coming, a pro version coming of this, uh, which hopefully will be under a grand, I've heard. Yeah, about a thousand pounds. Yeah. A thousand so wooden ingots of love and joy. To make sure we succeeded getting there and back on under 40 pounds of fuel, I did some maths. So it is 286 miles if we do 55 miles to the gallon, uh, and a litre is 5.54609, five decimal places, very accurate, 23.64 litres. Is it 175 a litre? It's a diesel. We could always hunt around. I don't think we should, because it would cost money. £41.36, we have to do more than 55 miles to the gallon. 60 miles to the gallon, we can do it. 55. We failed. We also spoke to Monty's Guitars at the Guitar Show. They're Monty's DP51 pickups. They'll be in the Danish Pete signature Chapman guitar, but they had some other big news. What's Matt from Monty? What's coming? Um, there's lots of stuff, but the latest thing, we've got some wide ranges coming out. Nice speech. With proper Kuni phase, they say? No, wait, you can't really get that. That way you can, but it's incredibly expensive. And it's also really brittle. It's not actually a great thing. And uh, we've spoken about it before. If you get the... The same stuff made, you know, the same stuff that it's not the same way it was made back then. Yeah. So things, things have different tonal implications. Would that be a word? I don't know. You've it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's basically it's better. It's betterer. Yeah. They're, they're big. But, you know, it's, they look a good set. They've got all that chime and clarity. Yeah. You know, but lots of the lots of the repros when Ben decided doing the repros, which were just regular humbuckers in a bigger I've thing. seen padded out. Yeah. yeah. They were quite. They were full of mids. There wasn't any top there. You couldn't cut through. So how did you do that? How did you not do that? Or is that can we not tell people? Yeah, we can tell. Don't people. look inside the pickups. Well, yeah. Don't. But you know you can. It's. It's a bit various things. I mean, it's a combination of mag magnet strength, coil offset, potting techniques, and also one thing is because the original ones weren't potted. So, but to get a wide range to stay together and not be microphonic is a nightmare. So they added some bits in, which probably wipe a bit of that on. That would help. That would help. Dampen it slightly. What we've done is there's extra, there's extra bits in it which create more tension, so you can keep the volume and all the harmonics and everything. It's like a humbucker, but yeah. more high end, more stratty. It's probably not the right word. It's, it is more stratty than telly. So when does it come? They are available for custom order at the minute. You can custom order them. Um, they should be live on the website next month or so. Fantastic. There's loads of straps and various guitars that have like what they call a swimming pool route underneath. Yep. So you take it off and it's got a big thing, so you can put whatever you want in. An SG, you could swim pool route that, because if you had the big big card, you could, it might yeah. fit. Yeah, it's all worth a try. That would sound amazing, actually. 
I've got the bloody issue, haven't I? Maybe you should do something. We should probably do something. We're going to do something. Something. The wide range pickup's coming soon. Obviously I tried my hardest to do over 60 miles per gallon. We're cruising at 60, which is crazy. Speed limit 70, safety first, because we want to make it. We're doing 84, 83, 84 miles per gallon. 63? Is that because I put the indicator on? What the f How has it gone down like 20%? 54, 53, that's my car, 51? What's gone wrong? The excitement's gone. 47? I think my engine's cut out or something. 87! 90! 99.9, come on! And that's how you drive, so you put it in cruise control and start screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you going 60 in the second lane, you f***ing bellend? This is Blackstone Cherry, new Chapman artist. Thought we need to slow down or we're going to crash. Lay your weary head to rest, don't you cry no more. We're, is this the north of England? This apparently is just the north. Yeah, it's at one place, so we're pretty much in Yorkshire, going to see the Birmingham Guitar Show. Have you had your jabs? Have you got a phrase book? Because I don't understand the language up here. <laughs> Crimson Guitars had three stands at the show. They had the Crimson Guitar Stand, the Luthiery School, and the Great Guitar Giveaway. But they've got some other exciting things coming this year. Ben from Crimson Guitars. Hey, how are you, you doing? You should know Ben. You know Ben. So Ben, Great Guitar Giveaway, doing? Crimson Guitars, Luthiery Shop. You've got about, I mean, you basically own a quarter of the whole show. I... Jim, I remember when I couldn't afford to buy a copy of Guitarist magazine, and this year we had two full-page ads back-to-back -back in it oh this, this, this week. And it's the same thing here. You know, and it's, it's all due to, genuinely, if you want to be successful, facilitate other people's success. If you learn nothing else, do that. We're teaching people how to build guitars. We're giving people the, the, the tools to do that. We're giving people the knowledge to do oh, that. Yeah. And as a result of that, we're going gangbusters. Crimson is is growing. We're not. We're. I'm so freaking excited. Also, I'm in show mode, so I'm. And a monumental amount of hard work. You've been in this oh, for yeah. years, isn't it? It's not like it yeah. just happened. You were doing tons for years. I mean. Well, you know what it's like building. You in a shed. Yeah. Not me in a shed now. Yeah. And now it's. I mean, I've been to a workshop. It's massive. <laughs> Hoping to see the museum. I mean, it's awesome. And this is cool, the, gi the well, giveaway. Yeah, genuinely, this is the thing. I decided that we needed a guitar museum. Do we, we, we deserve a guitar museum. People kept on asking me a bit, what, what's your collection like? I build my guitars, I don't need a collection of guitars. And it, it got me thinking that as a builder, I would be better if I spent time in the guts of old fenders and Gibson. Yeah, not my um, sex life. What we're doing essentially is we are selling tickets uh, through greatguitargiveaway.com and the profits from the guitars that are sold is going to funding the museum, funding things like this. That's an incredibly rare Hofner President's Thin. I can't buy this many guitars. I can't get this many guitars past my wife <laughs> either. Brilliant. But now we've got this museum thing and not only are we... So it's an excuse to not get told off. <laughs> members of the site are going to have access to you know, 50, 60 high def photos of every guitar. We're getting in people like Dave Simpson to come and do demos. He's here, he's, he's here, yeah, yeah. He's on the intro, he's always uh, Dave, he, he uh, at the show last year, oh. hi Dave. At the show last year, I lent him uh, that guitar over there, the Bog Oak and Gold Leaf one. He brought it back to that. We are going to be launching a whole brand new range of guitars sometime in the next six months. Nice, nice, um, nice. Inspired by the vintage stuff, and that's the real thing. We're moving to Nitro. Not because it sounds better, because it. Uh, oh, the feel of it though, and how it wears. And how it wears is so yeah, cool. I love it. I love it. So yeah, there's, there's, there's changes, but also we, we're saying exactly the same and doing far too much. Go to your local guitar shop and say, hey, why aren't you stocking crimps? And. Uh, I would appreciate the help. Thank you very much. Stock Crimson. But did we get to Birmingham and back on under 40 pounds of fuel? Really? No way! Fucking. <laughs> 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 Wow. Someone's got to eat a dip. Fucking, I thought we'd be close. Mate, you want driving tips? 
Say thank you.